You're listening to The Voluntary Life, where you can hear ideas for finding freedom in an unfree world. Visit thevoluntarylife.com to connect with the show and hear all past episodes. Here's your host, Jake. Hi everyone, it's Jake here. Welcome to The Voluntary Life. This episode is part two to the question of what kind of business should you start? Part one was episode 107. I wanted to talk more um, about this question. In part one, we covered some ideas for choosing your business. And I talked about the benefits of developing a business in an area where you yourself want to see the product or service that you're going to be providing. It's sometimes called eating food, that you want to be a user of what it is that your business would provide. And I also talked about the benefits of developing your business in an, in an industry that you understand where you know you really know where the customers are and how you can reach them and what their needs are in this episode i'd like to talk about finding your purpose for your business really this is about finding the why of your business the reason for you and the purpose for why you're doing this in the first place so this is not what you're going to sell and it's not how you're going to sell or who you're going to sell to but why what's the point of your business this is a really really helpful thing to be able to get clarity on as soon as possible for yourself it's also the thing that will keep you going and give you a framework for deciding on all the decisions that you have to make about your business you could say that this is like the elevator pitch for your business you know in in uh, in hollywood when they're pitching movies They call it an elevator pitch where you you have to be able to explain your idea for the movie in the time it would take for you to travel in an elevator journey with someone who you just happen to bump into that you know might be able to fund your your movie or something the same goes for you with your startup you've got to be able to really concisely explain why you're doing what you're doing and the way that people used to think about this was in terms of the so-called mission statement where they would define this mission statement of you know we as an organization seek to promote blah 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 and um, as an idea i you know i think uh, it was stephen covey and seven habits of highly effective people who originally came up with that idea for the mission statement but it it kind of got more and more bland as time went by the idea of mission statements and i mean if it works for you great you know if you can get a mission statement that's that, that's really clear Um, good for you and if that gives you a clear understanding of why personally I like Guy Kawasaki's idea which is even shorter than a mission statement of defining the sort of purpose of your business and he calls it a mantra and basically the idea is to try and be able to define for your business within literally three words what the purpose of your business is so he gives an example of Wendy's um, the the restaurant chain uh, in in the states, and he says, um, you know, they they have a long uh, and highfalutin mission statement about they're going to serve their customers and blah blah blah, but their mantra for Wendy's, if you really wanted to get down to the purpose, it would be healthy fast food, and that's the kind of simplicity, just three words, healthy fast food, that you can sort of capture well what is it they're trying to do you know what what is it supposed to be about so that's um the idea of finding the sort of purpose behind your business the thing is that that might sound a bit daunting and i i did personally find it very hard to to really get down to a very simple explanation of what my business was which was pedestrian movement consulting that was the sort of simplest way of explaining what my business did and it may be something that you're not clear on in the beginning and that's actually very very common for people to to not really know when they get started exactly what the purpose is of their business it's one of those things for a lot of people i think that you have an intuition about it you'll know it when you see it but you don't you can't really express clearly what makes you special and different what is it that you are all about and what defines you as a business in fact there's an interesting quote that i read from david allen the author of getting things done where he said 
I have yet to come across a new organization that was confident enough that it could express in full awareness its mission and purpose and could state it clearly any sooner than five years from its beginnings. Purpose is certainly there from the start in the form of the fire in the belly of the founders who have the commitment to bring it to life but to express it in a tangible, conscious and intellectually definable form is usually a long-term process requiring a depth of experience and seasoned intention to understand and expand the DNA of what drives the enterprise. I mean, maybe five years sounds like a long time to you, but I wanted to read out that quote because I think it's really important not to get stressed out about not being able to verbalize very clearly what your purpose is. Um, in the very beginning, you may need to find it and to be to become conscious of it by the doing of the business itself. And it may be through getting going that your purpose actually becomes clearer to you. I mean, I think this is true in life in general. It's it's hard in the abstract, sort of sitting in a an empty room to really know clearly what is going to drive you and enthuse you and what you're going to be inspired by. You learn those things by going out into the world and experiencing things. And you find out that some experiences are really inspirational for you and others not at all. And that's how you get more and more clarity about your purpose. At least that's how it works for me. So if you already know very clearly what your purpose is, great. But if you don't, don't worry about it. You'll find it by doing your business. In order to help you with that, there are three things that you can think about that you need to get locked into place in order to have a clear purpose for your business. And those three things are really that the purpose has to be something that enthuses you, something that inspires you, that's going to get you out of bed in the mornings that you feel passionate about. That's your passion. But it also has to be something that inspires enthusiasm in other people. Not just something that, you know, is your little fascination or whatever, but you know that this is something that really does inspire others. And if you like, that's another way of saying there's got to be a market for this thing that you're doing. And the third thing is you have to have some kind of talent or capability in this area that's going to enable you to pursue this purpose. So what you're looking for is the intersection of all three of these you're looking for a purpose for your business that you are enthused by, that you are inspired by, that you know is really inspiring to other people, and that you also have some capability to deliver. And I think that can be helpful thinking about it in that way, that you need these three things in place, because what it means is that if you've got one or two of, of these things, then you need to focus on the third. So for example, if you have a lot of skill in a particular area, and you're really interested in it, but you can't see how to make a business out of it, then you need to really focus on what the market could be, on how you can inspire people by providing something with this skill that is going to make their lives better. So you need all three, your own inspiration, a way to inspire enthusiasm in others, and also the capability to deliver. And of those three, I would say it is really important to focus on what is going to inspire others. Because ultimately, it's not about you. It's about delivering value. Uh, getting a, a business to have a real purpose is about how you're going to deliver value to other people, how you can make other people's lives better. So you have to be uh, inspired by this, and you have to have the capability. But if the business to really work, you've got to make sure that it's something that is going to deliver something that other people want or that you can inspire them to want. So I hope that's helpful. I'd love to hear any thoughts you have about finding the purpose and the why for your business and being able to express it clearly and your own experiences with that. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for listening to The Voluntary Life. If you have feedback about the show, please email jake at thevoluntarylife.com. If you enjoyed this program, please share the podcast with your friends or click the donate button on thevoluntarylife.com.